Hello beautiful people. In this little self-help video I'll show you how to use the German Fritz X glide bomb. Hope you enjoy. As of right now, Germany is the only nation in the game who has access to a semi-controlled bomb. But until Gaijin introduces laser-guided munitions, which I hope we'll never see. The glide bomb has limited controllability and uses the tail fins to control the glide. As you can see here, the Fritz X is a pretty big boy, just shy over 1500 kilograms, and out of that mass, 320 kilograms is TNT. This bomb was the world's first precision guided weapon deployed in combat. The reason why the Fritz X had so limited TNT content was it was a high explosive armor piercing bomb, and it was only used against ships. Only two German bomber aircraft are able to use the Fritz X. The very first Heinkel 111 sitting at 2.7 and the Heinkel 177 sitting at better rating 6.0. And while the bigger Heinkel can carry three Fritz X, the first Heinkel 111 can only carry one. Using the Fritz X will add some more lines to the bombing reticle. And those four lines represent the maximum controllability of the bomb. You can control the bomb's glide path by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. By default, the arrow keys actually does the opposite of what you would think. So left is right, right is left, up is down, and down is up. And in order not to make it more confusing than it has to be, I suggest that you change this right away. And you do this by hitting controls, weaponry, and then you scroll down to your and pitch axis for weapon aiming and you need to double click on it. And then here, maximum value and minimum value. And I suggest that you change this right away, so you basically do the values opposite of what you already see here. And do the same for the pitch axis. And you're all set. And once you've done this and try to drop another bomb, Every time you hit the right key and the left key, it actually does what it's supposed to do. Same goes for up and down. Much easier and less confusing. I suggest you start using the Fritz X from 3 or 4 kilometers up. The further down you are, the less time you have to actually maneuver and use the bomb. Hold down and use one of the direction keys for a couple of seconds. If you release the key too quickly, the bomb won't really have any time to react to what you're doing. You can of course use two directional keys at the same time, so left and down and up and right or whatever combination. It's all a learning process and hitting a moving target is not always easy. The main reason for not hitting a ship has nothing to do with really controlling the bomb, but misjudging the speed of the ship. You can always use the Fritz X for ground and B for a giggle, but that's about it. It's not really worth it. Your starting altitude is usually around 1000 meters. And at that altitude, you have very little time to actually control the Fritz X. And if the vehicle is moving, you can forget about it. Furthermore, if you're using the Heinkel 111, you only have one Fritz X with you. Then you have to drop the bomb, fly back, land, rearm, take off, and actually get back over the AO looking for a new target. And by the time that happens, chances are the match is already over. Personally, I'm not playing naval battles. So the only time I'm really using the Fritz X is an Air RB whenever I want to have a bit of fun whenever there are ships on the maps. But that was it for this little video. I have added some links in the video description below, both for other relevant videos on the channel, but also for more direct ways for you guys to support the channel if you wish to do so. And of course, a subscription and a like is also more than welcome. Thank you for watching, and until next time, remember to deploy your die breaks. Have a good one.